going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best free content that you can be earning right now in Mutt 24. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. If you're new to this video series or to my channel, this is kind of like a weekly recap of everything that's going on in the game right now that you can do and participate in to earn free content in the game. Packs, coins, players, without having to spend any of your coins or any money. So let's jump right on into it. So we're going to start with the real deal spiel pass by the way we are getting three new ltds tomorrow they revealed them earlier i'm waiting for the aka reveals for tomorrow's content as well so we should have another video coming up later this afternoon the real deals field pass is going to give you a bunch of free stuff unfortunately the end of the field pass reward is a 95 overall and not a champion from this promo now down below in the comment section as a pinned comment there's going to be a ton of different videos that we link you to one of them is breaking down everything that's in this 95 overall fantasy pack and the best cards that take from it you can actually earn a second one of these in the solo challenges from this field pass but once you max out the field pass that's the fantasy pack that you're going to get also there's a welcome pack carl weathers card that you should have received that starts at a 90 overall and there's three upgrade tokens that you can earn two in this field pass one in the solo challenges that will eventually upgrade this card to a 97 overall card if we're being honest it's not the greatest card and we've had a overflow of free outside linebackers from the various promos over the last couple months so this card is kind of in the back of the depth chart in my opinion but if you do want to upgrade him for free this is how you're going to do it there's tons of season 5 xp in here 90,000 to be exact so this is a really good one to level up that season 5 field pass and also there's a tab for the showtime tokens these are tokens that you can earn for each individual player that will unlock special x factors and discounted ability buckets a couple days ago when this promo dropped i did put out a video going over the fastest way to knock out these objectives the best players to to pick up from this promo and also the best way to use those tokens on the best discounted abilities and x factor so there's no free content here but if you're engaging in the promo and going after any of these 98 over 98 or 98 overall cards and you're going after any of these 98 and 99 overall cards definitely check out that video we'll link that one down below in the comment section as a pinned comment as well so uh, last week we did finish up the sugar rush promo the field pass is still there and active if you haven't maxed it out but it is in the archive section so if you go into this field pass it does expire in a little over two weeks there's a free 95 overall trent mcduffie in here at level 14 not the greatest card by any means but this card actually is sellable you can also put it into item sets it says bnd but it's not you can quick sell it for 100k training you can sell it for coins or as i said you can put it into a 98 overall champion set so good free card to earn tons of field pass xp in this one as well you still got eggs in here even though these have all hatched if you haven't earned any of these rewards you're still going to be able to do so uh, chocolates currency is in here but these have now been converted to coins so basically every five chocolate is going to, or every one chocolate is going to equal 50 coins so you get coin rewards instead and there are Trayvon Walker upgrade tokens in here but unfortunately the other two that you would need were in the chocolate store which is no longer available so you're going to miss out on that free card but it wasn't the greatest card and like we said we've been overfloated outside linebackers for free so not a big deal but you can still grind out this field pass for the XP and most importantly if you never got to it that Trent McDuffie because that's a great way to make a little bit of coin the free agency promo wasn't terrible but the field pass was pretty bad it does feature one good item so kind of the similar thing with the real deals promo there is a welcome pack Kendall Fuller that you should have received and you need three upgrade tokens to get him to a 97 overall for free two of the tokens are in this field pass the other is going to be in the solo challenges the good thing about this card is once you unlock it and upgrade it to a 97 overall he gets all 32 NFL NFL team chem so it's very easy to get this card to a 98 or 99 overall and get 99 speed pretty good zero ap ability and flat zone ko if you want to play him as a slot defender also within this field pass once you max it out at the very end there's a fantasy pack that gives you a free 94 overall free agency player down below in the comment section you should know where to find it by now but there is going to be a video where we covered all of the best 94s to take out of this pack once you unlock it if you have some decisions on who you want to make go watch that video will help you out if you just recently picked up the game and you're looking to build your team the nfl combine field pass is going to be a pretty good one for you there's a couple 93 overall fantasy packs in here that you can earn and all of the cards that are in that pack 
do give you any of the 32 NFL team camps, so it makes it easier to build a theme team as well. And they're all pretty fast. So again, down below in the comment section, we did put out a video going over the best cards to take out of that pack. There's two of those packs within this field pass. Also, when you get to level 11, at the very end, you get a third 93 overall that's guaranteed with the chance at potentially getting something higher. It's a 93 plus BND pack. So three free 93 overalls just from the field pass alone. Also, if you go into the objectives, there should have been a welcome pack, Rich Eisen, that you would have received. It's a lower overall card. You put him in your lineup. You score 20 touchdowns with him in your lineup, and you can upgrade him to a 96 overall. Sorry, 94 overall, but he gets 96 speed, and he gets double team chem. So you can go with a hybrid theme team on him, or you can get times two of your favorite team chemistry, whatever theme team you might be running. Stash him back at halfback number three. Very easy way to get you closer to that 50-50 theme team. As always, with all of these field passes we've covered so far, there is season five XP in here as well. Very important you try to earn this because the season five field pass is expiring in about a week to a week and a half. So this is going to be your last chance to go out and get that XP and max it out. We'll show you all of the free rewards in there in a moment. And then we also have the team of the year field pass. This one features a free 97 overall Micah Parsons. So you got a welcome pack with a lower overall version of him in there. And there are six tokens that you need these team of the year tokens to take him all the way up to a 97 overall. Four of the tokens are in this field pass. The other two are going to be in solo challenges. And once you upgrade him fully, he goes to a 97 overall for free he also gets all 32 nfl team chems pretty good card i'll be honest as much as i hate to say it because he's a cowboy but he is on my no money spent squad and he's made a lot of plays for me also in this field pass you do get a 95 overall bnd fantasy pack to let you pick a hero there's some pretty good offensive linemen in this pack to help you build that o-line if you're on a budget or just recently picked up the game so go get all of these field passes done here so you can get the season 5 xp and all of the free rewards because they are going to be getting archived soon and eventually be expiring. Uh, the competitive pass is also coming to an end soon. We got a little bit over two weeks on this one. This is the only field pass that you're probably going to be actively working on that does not give you season five XP, but there are a ton of good coin rewards in here and a couple good player packs and exclusive players. This is probably the best competitive pass that we've seen all year. Hopefully the next one is even better. So I think it was like 380,000 worth of coins as rewards within this field pass and if we scroll back to the very beginning a lot of you watching this video have probably already unlocked this by now but just in case you haven't at level seven you get a 94 overall aka cruise fantasy pack this one gives you some pretty good options if you're just starting out and there's a video down below in the comment section that goes over the best cards to take out of this pack early on at level 17 you get a 97 overall justin jefferson for free this card has 98 speed really good route running and catching a great free option at wide receiver so go ahead and get that card before that one expires. There's some ultimate legend packs in here. At level 26, you get a 96 overall weekly wild card fantasy pack. Again, we got a video covering the best cards to take from this pack, but there's a right guard in Greg Van Rotten who gets the care protector for one AP and all day for zero AP. Really great option to build that O-line. That's the card that I went with. But if you want to make another decision, go watch that video on the on the cards that are in that pack and the best ones to take from it. And the last exclusive player reward, a lot of you maybe already unlocked this one. I'm still a ways away. Hopefully we can get to it on my no money spent account at least. But at level 38, you get this 98 overall Zayvon Collins. Big fan of this card, even though I haven't used it yet because he's six foot four. He's really, really fast. He can block shed. He's got power move and finesse move. He can also play coverage. He's got good zone good man coverage good hit power he can pretty much do it all rush the passer be a user be an ai defender and he's going to get lurk artist for zero ap which is super important when it comes to linebacker so those are all of the free rewards within the compet in the competitive pass again that one does not feature any season five xp but all of the other field passes we covered do and hopefully by now a lot of you are getting pretty close to maxing this one out because it is coming to an end like i said in about nine days so early on you should have got a welcome pack that features the main player within this field pass which is a lower overall derrick henry and as you progress through the season five field pass every 10 levels the so levels 10 20 30 40 and then 45 you get upgrade tokens that will allow you to upgrade that derrick henry eventually to this free 98 overall card i've been starting to run into people who 
are using the card. I don't think it's a terrible option. There's definitely better cards out there at running back, but I have noticed for the people that are using him, he's kind of tough to tackle. We even without any type of angry runs X factor. So not a bad card, even if he's going to be halfback two or three on your team. The other free players in this field pass at level four, you get a 93 overall Patrick Peterson at level 16. You're going to get a 95 overall Keyshawn Johnson. And then also a little bit further down the road here in this field pass, you're going to get a at level 34, a 96 overall TJ Watt. All three of these players can actually be upgraded to a 97 overall, and you're going to need a token to do that for each player. You get all three of those tokens to upgrade all three of those players to a 97 overall at level 50. So when you max out this field pass, you're going to go ahead and get those players to a 97. And if we scroll backwards a little bit here at level 43, you get a free 97 overall Andrew Whitworth. Definitely an end game left tackle. Uh, Andrew Thomas from the Sugar Rush field pass is a better card at this position, but if you can't afford that card this is a great free option and if you are rocking andrew thomas at left tackle this card actually quick sells for 65,000 training so if you don't feel like you're going to use it or need it you can take that currency for free as well and one other thing is that in this field pass you're going to be earning and the last one comes at level 36 the season five set tokens once you earn all four of the tokens you get to get a free 97 overall bnd card there's a lot of really really good choices in this pack if you haven't unlocked this one definitely make it a priority this week because you got Tariq Woolen at 97 overall, Patrick Willis, Michael Irvin, some of the best cards still in the game right now and you can get them for free and of course we got a video going over all of the cards that are in that season five token pack and the best ones to take from it. Go watch it. Lots of free content in solo challenges as well. We've mentioned a handful of them, but let's go through each one. So the real deals field pass gives you two of those three tokens. You need to upgrade the Carl Weathers card. The third token is at tier four, 70 stars. There's also XP for that field pass in these solos. And there's an 89 plus BND player and a 95 overall fantasy pack within the solos, as we mentioned earlier. So go get those for Free, go get that free content as well. Sugar Rush solos are going to give you XP. They're also going to give you chocolate, which again will convert to coins now at this point. Every one chocolate equals 50 coins. You can still earn the egg baskets in here. You're still going to get packs from these or player cards. So if you haven't earned them, you still have a chance to do so within that Sugar Rush field pass. NFL free agency solos are what you're going to play through to get that other uh, Kendall Fuller upgrade token. XP for the field pass in the solos. You get an 88 overall fantasy pack in here and also a 91 overall fantasy pack. Both of those cards, non-BND, so you can make a little bit of coin or free training from them. You're going to want to play through it to get the XP anyway. We talked about the free Micah Parsons that you can earn within the solo challenges. Two of the six tokens that you need to upgrade him are in here, along with Field Pass XP, and at the end of it, 100 stars. You got to get, a, get another 95 overall fantasy pack. They'll let you pick another free 95 overall player card. Again, great, great options to build your offensive line if you're a free-to-play player player, no money spent player. Combine solos give you some really good content here. So we talked about the field pass being a great starting point. If you just recently got the game, you're also at tier one, going to get a 93 overall Nate Wiggins. He starts at an 88 overall. You do have to upgrade him to the 93, but it's very inexpensive training wise. And he gets 98 speed at that 93 overall. Again, all 32 NFL team chems. And you get a Bo Nix a little bit further down at tier five, 68 stars. Same deal, starts at an 88, goes to a 93 with training upgrades very inexpensive so that's two more cards that you can put on your team that get any team chemistry there's another 93 overall fantasy pack in the solo rewards here at tier three but the best reward of all is going to be tier six 75 stars you get a chemistry champion darren mcfadden it's a 95 overall card but it gets all 32 nfl team chems a bunch of other promo team chems and it's a very very good free option probably the second best running back in the game no i shouldn't say that it's the first best free running back back in the game. Bo Jackson combine promo running back is going to be way better, but this one is definitely worth it. So to get to 75 stars, you got to play through all of the combine film room solos. That'll give you 72 of those stars. That will also unlock the extreme combine section where you have three different solos that give you one star each. The third solo, pretty difficult for a lot of people. Good news is 
We put out a video that's helped a ton of people get through these. It's gameplay tips on one offensive play and one defensive play that will help you beat this solo. So if you've been struggling to get through it, that video is going to be linked down below in the comment section. Go watch it. I almost guarantee that it'll help you beat these extreme combine solos and get you that free Darren McFadden, which is a must-have card if you're a no money spent player. So a lot of free content in the NFL combine section. You can go through the rest of the stuff like Division Dynasty and NFL Honors and Genki Force. There is more free content in there, but I do want to focus on the week-to-week -week content, especially with Ultimate Legends. So each week we get a new set of solos, six solos to be exact. You beat those six solos and unlocks a final challenge. You beat the final challenge. You get your option of either a lower overall BND Ultimate Legend player or an Ultimate Legend token. You want to take the token each and every time. There are enough tokens now in the game between the weekly solos and then the milestone rewards every tier early on gives you one token starting at tier seven i think all the way to tier 11 you start to get 10 tokens and then after that you get five tokens basically 64 of these tokens equals a free ultimate legend that's not bnd of your choice and that's going to include 98 overall mean joe green and randy moss which are incredibly good cards and very expensive so you can either get a really good card on your squad for free or make some coin by selling the players that you redeem with those tokens so go play through those same thing with aka crew so we should be getting a new set of cards tomorrow and new set of solos as well and at that point once you beat tomorrow's solos it's a lot to play if you haven't been doing them but there should be enough now of these free aka cruise tokens in the game to redeem you need 30 of them exactly to redeem for a free champion for this promo so go get these done right now as well because tomorrow if you haven't spent any money on any of the other bundle offers out there tomorrow would be the 29th and 30th tokens that you can earn for free and eventually or finally be able to redeem a free champion let's just hope the two cards the two non-LTDs that come out tomorrow will be good. I'm still waiting for EA to reveal them. Once they do, we'll have another video uh, dropping going over that, plus the real deals LTDs that are coming out tomorrow. And the same thing's going to hold true for weekly wild cards. We don't know exactly how many tokens you need, but each week we get a new group of solos, 20 stars usually on those. And once you beat those solos, it's going to go towards the milestone rewards. A lot of free coins in here. There's some free fantasy packs, some 85, 86, 87 plus packs in here as well. But the weekly wild card tokens are going to be what you need to eventually redeem a free champion the only problem with this one is there's no set in the game so we don't know exactly how many tokens you're going to need or when that set will become available but just know if you're up to date on these solos each week eventually you're going to get a free champion from this promo and by the time uh, it comes to that it's probably going to be a free 99 overall card so there you have it a lot of stuff you can be doing right now before season five ends and that's how you earn all of the best free content in the game thank you for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace